Hi there. So I'm going to show you how to change your drop down box if you're using Excel. A lot of you have purchased my uh, spreadsheets and um, my YouTube videos typically tell you how to do everything in Google Sheets, but this one is going to be specifically for Excel. Now, my version of Excel may be different than your version. So yours might be older or newer than mine. So it may be set up differently. So what you want to do is basically in whatever sheet you're in, there could be a ton of them in a ton of different ways, but this is how to change the drop down box. So this is the drop down box. You know, you're going to click it. There's the arrow to the side. There's all the drop downs. Same thing for here, all the drop downs. Okay, so how to change it is we want to go up to the tabs here on the top, click data, and then there's this one that shows a check mark and a red circle. This is your data validation. There's also an arrow. You can get there that way too. So click on it. It is going to show you the source. If you try to use your arrow keys, it's going to try to bring up a formula. So you basically have to highlight what you don't want. So say we want to take out school and then you're going to use your back, like your delete key and your backspace to get rid of, say we want to get rid of school and vacation. So we're going to leave the other two. If you highlight it, it'll make, take it back to the left so you can see the whole thing again. Okay, so now we're going to go back to shop, housing, utility, shopping, and medical. And then we're going to hit OK. Um, you can also say apply these changes to all the other sales with the same settings, and that will fix the whole thing. So if you hit OK, it's going to fix them all for you. Housing, uh -huh, school, and saving. We'll see if it did it. It did not. Okay. So um, because it did not fix everything, um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the item and see so there's like this little dot right to the, there's a dot here. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little dot ne next to the little arrow. If you double click that, it should bring everything all the way down. And then it will bring down and kind of change everything all the way down the line. So that's how to do that. And let's see if it changed these. Housing, medical, it changed it all. Hooray, we did it. Um, so let's see if we can change this one. Try it again. Go to the, no, that's not what we want. Data validation. This, and now we're going to change it to just something random so you can see that there's a difference. Let's change it to puppies and kittens. Hit OK. Okay. There's puppies and kittens. Let's see if it's going to let me do it. Yay. Okay. There's my dot. I'm going to double click the dot. It's going to bring it all the way down to right there for some random reason. But that's okay because you can double click it again. And then we're going to use this little bar and bring it all the way down. And hey, it changed it. Hooray. It did it. Um, and then another thing that you could do is kind of uh, have your delete key there. So it kind of delete and make everything blank. And so then you can double click um, the dot and it's not bringing it back down. So we'll just click and drag this all the way down. Anyway, all the way down to the end. Here we go. Now it's all blank for you. There you go. Yay. All right. So that's how to change it. Um, and that's Snoopy. He's got his toy. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know. But um, thanks so much for purchasing my spreadsheets. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Have a great day.